Here we go. Tools to increase your potential. I'm talking about ashwagandha. This is a practical tip that I have in my life, and I am so thankful that I have ashwagandha in my life. I am the monk MT. We're talking about how eating something as simple as ashwagandha every day can bless you every single day. How? I feel stronger. My endurance is better. Less stress less anxiety, balances my hormones, better stamina, more sexual energy that I transmute into motivation and creativity. So let's go ahead and get into this, guys. This is vital information. We're going to have some fun looking at it. So let's talk a little bit about ashwagandha. Ancient adaptogen used for millennia in India's healing tradition said to bestow the power of a stallion. In Ayurveda, it's known as miracle herb or king plant, and the enlightened rishis considered it as one of the most, um, as one of the finest herbal medicines known to man. So it's an adaptogen. What is an adaptogen? An adaptogen is something that changes your neurochemistry and your endocrine response to things that happen in your life. So you're in your car, you're driving to work, and your normal response might be to get a little bit angry because this guy's going too slow. Well, you're taking ashwagandha, you're taking endocrine um, supporting drugs or herbs, adaptogens, it's gonna calm you down. You're not gonna secrete as much cortisol and stress hormones. So it literally changes how you perceive events in your life. And it also changes uh, your body's stress level because too much cortisol, chronic cortisol, that causes uh, adrenal fatigue. And you don't want adrenal fatigue. That's going to make you feel lethargic. And you want to keep your body in a calm state. You don't want to be in this, this nervous, angry, toxic state all day long. And that's what adaptogens do. They help calm your nervous system calm your endocrine system so you're creating a chemistry of peace and tranquility it's just amazing that you can just eat something that does something that powerful so there's only certain herbs elite herbs that do that and that's why we're talking about ashwagandha it literally changes your perception of your day yourself your life just by eating something that's healthy so let's jump into the benefits shall we First of all, enhances athletic performance and vitality. Um, massage therapists definitely need this. We need to always feel energized and positive energy. We're always using our body. But what about athletes? What about people who just jog? What about people in the gym? Anybody that wants to improve their performance, improve their lifts, just feel like more of a beast. This thing actually improves your testosterone levels. Think about that. Just think about that. And we have research and science at the end that's going to show studies that people had their testosterone levels increase, less body fat, more muscle mass, better mood, more risk taking, engaging in social behavior better, more motivation, more aggression, less depression. Uh, testosterone is uh, an amazing panacea for health. And the fact that you can eat this and it improves your testosterone is almost too good to be true. And I can vouch for it. I got some right here. It tastes good. It's not chalky. It's not bitter. It's smooth. And it's, it's creamy. I have it with honey and coconut oil. And it's nice. <clears throat> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's good. You feel strong when you eat it. So studies show endurance, strength. <clears throat> better mood, improves dopamine, motivation, lose belly fat, look better. So these on increasing VO2 max. All right, so remember Machoke on that treadmill? Um, we're going to have a little story at the end that's going to help us remember all the benefits of ashwagandha. <clears throat> okay, number two benefit is it gives you more energy and it's going to reduce your stress. Okay, how does it do this? Um, it's a nutritive tonic and adaptogen Ayurveda. And it influences your HPG axis, which is your hypothalamus in your brain, pituitary gland in your brain. That's like the master gland for all your hormones. 
gonadal axis, so this is your sexual organs, um, and reduces cortisol. So you're producing less cortisol. And cortisol is the thing that, in the long term, it can break your body down. You're just going to feel chronically stressed. It literally will break down your muscles into sugar so that your body can use it for sugar. It doesn't sound nice. Among other things, your immunity goes down. Your testosterone levels go down. You don't want chronically high levels of cortisol. It's okay to have a little bit of cortisol when you're a little bit inflamed. But if you're constantly inflamed, that's a problem. Especially your mind can generate stress and inflammation and cortisol. And if you introspect and if you really look at it, whenever you're angry, like I just got angry trying to get this podcast going because everything wasn't working. Guys, nothing was working. My computer was slow. The internet wasn't working. PowerPoint wasn't working. Problem after problem. So I just closed my eyes and I started to feel what was happening as I got angry. And I literally felt my neck tightening and my back tightening. I felt it in my body. That's cortisol. That's stress. That's the chemistry of your body changing. Good thing I had my ashwagandha. Sip some ashwagandha. Well, that's not the only cure. I... I let it pass. I let it go. I meditated. But ashwagandha, it decreases that response so that you're going to be more calm. It's going to prevent adrenal fatigue. And studies show that it literally can help hypothyroid. People with low thyroid, oh, man, I have this low thyroid. I have no energy. I can't work out. Ashwagandha. It's going to give you better energy, better vitality. You're going to feel like Riolo right here. Number three. This is just amazing. Your brain is going to perform better. You're going to feel smarter, intelligence, memory. When you're socializing, you're going to be able to read those subtle cues better. Improves your IQ. Um, and mood. Think about this. Anxiety, stress, more happiness, more confidence. How does it do this? Acetylcholine levels in the brain. Improve your memory, brain function, intelligence. So even if you just have somewhere around three grams for three months, can reduce stress hormone by 11 to 32%. This is just like eating something. This isn't even by changing your belief systems. This is a CBT. Just drinking something can make your life better. It's amazing. All right, so remember Espeon. Uh, what were the other two Pokemon that we had? We had Machoke. Remember who? what he represents. We had Riolo. Remember what he represents. The calmness the low stress. Now we got Espeon, which is the mind. Your mind is going to function better. Number four, relieves pain. Neck pain, back pain, RLS, rest, restless leg, muscle spasms, cramps, arthritis, stiffness, and pain. If it weren't already good enough, it's relieving pain in our body. Decreasing inflammation is healing us. So remember Blissey. God, I love that picture of Blissey. Is that mega? You guys tell me if that's Mega Blincy. Yeah, I have never played those games where you have Megas. I'm old. Benefit number five, enhances sleep. Um, as you guys know, sleep is the cornerstone of health. Literally, it is the most important thing. It's more important than exercise and sleep. As a matter of fact, if you don't have good sleep, then all your hormones are going to be thrown off. Your exercise is going to be garbage. And uh, cortisol levels in the body are going to be higher. You're going to be storing more fat. And your mood is going to be disturbed. You're going to have less serotonin. Basically, it will make your, your day a living hell. Trust me. I slept only six hours a night for four years, five years. And it was not easy. It was not easy. I looked into so many different things in health, thinking that it was everything but sleep. Sleep is so important. Um, so let's look at what it does. Decreases cortisol. Stay in rest and digest. So what happens is at night, you want low cortisol so that you can feel relaxed and sleepy and fall asleep. If you're having problems falling asleep, it could be because you have high cortisol, which not only affects your body hormonally, it throws off your circadian rhythm, which means your body's perception of when is daytime, when is nighttime, and all the cascade of neurochemicals and hormones that it releases based on if it's nighttime or daytime to help you feel relaxed or energized. So I recommend having moon milk at night. 
Put half a teaspoon of um, ashwagandha in some milk, heat it up, and enjoy. And we got Snorlax to help us remember that it aids in sleep. <laughs> this this Amazon post, literally in the product description, it says to buy it for your girlfriend. <laughs> Guys, you can't use this Snorlax. It's only for it's only for Asian girls. And we got a real life picture of Snorlax. God, that's terrifying. Look at his toenails. What if that thing woke up? Oh my god, I'd be scared. All right, moving on. Um, immunity. Okay, okay. So it also boosts your immunity. When we're massaging people, what are the chances that they're going to be excreting toxins? What are the chances that we're going to catch that unless if we're strong in our immune system? This literally happens. You have to wash your hands diligently and use essential oils as much as you can to kill that bacteria before it even enters you. Keep your hands always of essential oils. Essential oils have superpowers and they've been shown to kill even E. coli and MRSA. So always have this on your hands so that their toxins from their body don't get into your hands and into your bloodstream. Take ashwagandha because it improves your immunity. It has antioxidants, which what does that mean? That means lower inflammation, more detox. The whole theory of it killing free radicals, we don't know. But we know that it decreases inflammation and it detoxes the cells. So you're going to feel more energized. This is a mechanism by which it affects you. So it's an antibacterial, prevents weakness, chronic fatigue syndrome, and sickness. Sometimes chronic fatigue is caused by viral infection, bacterial infection, bad bacteria. Um, let's say you massage somebody, you wash your hands, but maybe not with soap. You go to eat something. Some of their toxins are getting into the food, into your mouth. It just happened to me, and I felt it as it happened. And it took me a whole day of fighting and yoga and eating holy basil and ashwagandha. And now I feel better. Um, but I literally felt it, so thank God for these herbs. And for nature, I was able to fight it off. Uh, but listen to this. It was used clinically in India for cancer suppression. suppression, Tumors, AIDS, autoimmune disease, rheumatoid arthritis, polymyositis. Oh, God. Can you guys even hear me? My mic is all the way over there. Jesus Christ. Was this the mic that I'm giving you audio with? Oh boy, oh boy, are we gonna have to do this again? I think we're gonna have to do this again. Good thing I have ashwagandha. I'm gonna finish this, I'm gonna finish this. We're going, health ninjas, we're going. I'm a monk, I got this. Libido and sexual function. All right, so India knows it as the horse herb, the king herb. Most potent sex enhancing, enhancing plant in India. Premature ejaculation increases clitoral sensitivity. It's just amazing that it does all these things, including those two specific things. Who would hear all these things and be like, nah, I'm good? Meh. Who could, who could, after hearing this, who could just. I don't understand. All right. So in Ayurveda, you mix it with ghee and honey. It improves your sperm count. Um, if you have sexual sexual debility, use this. Uh, interesting term here. Vajikarana in Ayurveda means a substance that can improve sexual vitality and function or to help direct sexual energy inwards for regeneration. This is a completely new realm for so many people. To think that there's an entire class of foods that you can research called Vajikarana. And that you can direct your sex, sex energy inwards for regeneration. Two entirely new concepts there. So if you're struggling with those things, you can look into it now. It invigorates the entire system with the most vital energy of the body, Ojas and Soma. I'm going to have an entire video on Ojas and Soma. It increases reproductive secretions like semen and breast milk. Okay, so sex transmutation, I'm going to have an entirely new video on that. It deserves an entire lesson because 
it's a it's a broad topic and there's a lot of ways to do it of how to harness that sexual energy so if you increase it with this it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to release it by going out and and having sex you can direct it towards other purposes like perception meditativeness passion creativity love this is the raw energy that creates life you can you can channel it into whatever area you want based on how you're going to meditate so we'll talk about that number eight fights metabolic diseases and obesity so it improves blood pressure blood sugar cholesterol and body fat which are all related to the metabolic syndrome what is that that's a basically an uh, indicator light that goes off if your doctor tells you you have metabolic syndrome that means a bunch of lights are going off that mean you're going in the wrong direction you're headed for diabetes heart disease cancer it means that you have a constellation of um um i guess blood readings such as blood pressure blood sugar cholesterol and android obesity which means fat around your belly it means that you're more predisposed towards diseases which is horrible but ashwagandha fights it it boosts insulin production from the pancreas and it makes uh, your whole body more sensitive to all that insulin so does that sound like it helps diabetics you bet and lastly oh yeah we haven't been reviewing the pokemon guys spoink because he's a pig and it's going to prevent you from becoming a pig Tokopi because it's the baby and it's going to increase your libido and fertility so that you have babies scyther why was scyther for immunity i think of the immune system i think of all these little cells for some reason i imagine them like insects swarming so scyther insect swarms like the immune system and um protects your body okay we're almost done clefairy just represents all these magical varieties this plethora of benefits because it uses metronome and when it uses metronome you don't know it can be anything so this can cure many different things listen to this malnutrition anemia paralysis cough edema which is swelling impaired cognitive function asthma infertility rheumatism ulcers fevers low back pain arthritis so this is why they call it the king guys it can help with all these things and it's it's cheap i get two pounds for twenty dollars so and that lasts me months remember you're only taking one or two teaspoons a day and that's a high dose one teaspoon is like three to five grams you only need one or two grams of this a day i like the mega dose um most trials use 500 milligrams twice a day so we're talking about like one gram and um yeah even if you take quarter teaspoon twice a day you'll get results i take like five grams a day and i don't have any adverse effects i just feel stronger safety it's basically like a food you don't have to be super careful with ashwagandha just don't cook a cake with it it's not flour don't go on an ashwagandha only diet you wrestlers wrestlers do crazy things i used to be a wrestler grape only diet grapefruit only diet but those days are over okay avoid if you're sensitive to nightshades or if you have excess iron aka hemochromatosis or hyperthyroid because remember it boosts your thyroid so if you have a high thyroid it's going to boost it even more so it may enhance effects of barbiturates or thyroid hormones so be careful if you're taking either of those here's here's the references guys check those out um this isn't just stuff that i got from online i looked the stuff up you can look it up for yourself look on examine.com go to pcmi go to pubmed go to ncbi that's what i meant to say and look up ashwagandha this is well studied and it's been around for thousands of years this isn't this isn't hype this isn't marketing this is the real deal so try it out for yourself 
and you will see the amazing benefits. I guarantee you. All right. So story time. How are we going to remember all these benefits? How many benefits do we have, guys? Nine benefits. We're going to create a story. This is ad lib. I have not thought this through yet. So, um, all right. Here's the story. Got this from Jim Quick. Good way to engage your memory is to make a story with images that represent what you're trying to remember. All right. So Ashwagandha is from India. So we're going to imagine um, Machoke is in India and he's wearing a loincloth. All right. A red loincloth. And he's doing some yoga because he wants to be a yogi. So what does this represent in your mind? Fitness, performance, testosterone. Okay. That's Machoke. All right. All of a sudden, uh, a Riolo, a Riolo floats down from a balloon so light and carefree. He's wearing a loincloth as well. And Machoke's still doing his yoga and he sees Riolo calm and he gets inspired and he thinks, I want to be like Riolo. And then what happens? Out of nowhere, poof, an Espeon appears. Espeon's enlightened. Espeon becomes their guru. So they're both there. Fate brought them together. Boom, they're with Espeon. Espeon represents the enlightened mind. Remember that. So they start training under Espeon's guidance. And they're, they're doing all this yoga. And they get so tired. They get so tired that they need some healing. And so they start, they start running through the mountains to find somebody who can heal them and bring them to the next level, all right? They find a Blincy. They find a Blincy in the cave. And the Blincy starts doing therapy on them and it starts relieving all their pain from all the training that they're getting put through by Espeon. They get so relaxed, they go to sleep. They're sleeping. And they wake up and they're right next to a Snorlax. Out of nowhere, the Snorlax decided to come and take a little nap with them, catch some Zs. They're so surprised or scared. The Snorlax doesn't wake up, so they start tiptoeing away. And then they decide, we got to go back. We got to go back to Guru. So they start running. But they're running on a different way back through the mountains, the Himalayas. And they run into a, a swarm, a nest of scythers. And they're thinking, how are we going to beat these Scythers? We're fighting type. There's bug type. We're not very effective against them. They have wing attack. So they're terrified. The Scythers are there. Um, what do they do? What do they do? They grab a Tokopi who's by the side looking like a rock. Grab a Tokopi and they hold a hostage and say, we got a Tokopi. You got to let us through. We got a Tokopi. He's good luck. The Scythers... They're tribal, but for some reason they agree. And they say, okay, we'll let you through. We have nothing to do with you. Just don't hurt the Tokopi. They got their their karate chop ready. Karate chop ready to chop that super effective into the Tokopi. And these merciful tribe of Scythers let them through. So they run away. They're running. They use agility. They're running. They get away. But they're lost. They ran They ran without a clue where they're going. And all of a sudden, they say a prayer. They meditate and Spoink comes out to guide them home. Spoink comes out to guide them home. What does Spoink represent, guys? Pig, obesity, all the comorbidities of metabolic syndrome. Okay? So he guides them back. They're... They're going on the path, and he promised that they're going to find a, a magical way back home. All seems hopeless. They don't know if they're going to make it. All of a sudden, from under a rock comes a Clefairy. Waves his fingers, creates a magic carpet, and flies him back home. Anything can happen. And they have a feast on the carpet. All kinds of varieties of different things that they enjoy because of the Clefairy. And they get back home to their guru and they continue training. And that's where we are. That's where we are. All right. So that's the story. <laughs> I doubt you can forget that. I can't forget that. 
it helps you remember the nine Pokemon that represent the nine benefits. What are the nine benefits? Number one, Machoke. What does he represent? Performance, athletic performance. Number two, Riolo. Decreased stress. Number three, Espeon. Mental prowess. Number four, they go to get healed by Blincy. Pain relief. Number five, they take a nap. They wake up next to Snorlax. Boom. Sleep. Helps you with sleep. Then they start um, journeying. And all of a sudden, Scythers. They run into Scythers. Number six, immunity. Helps with your immunity. Number seven, they pick up the Togepi. Fertility. Sexual prowess. Hold it hostage. Get away. They're lost. What happens? Spoink appears. Guide them back home. How do they get home? Clefairy appears, wishes them everything. Wishes them with a carpet. They get home with a variety of food that represents the variety of things that Ashwagandha solves. And what was Spoink, guys? Spoink was anti obesity, anti metabolic syndrome. So there you go. We got a story. You know what to do. Like and subscribe so that you can continue to increase your consciousness and your potential as a therapist and as a human being with simple and practical steps like this. That was fun. Have a good day, guys. Like and subscribe, please.